Live from Fox Providence, this is The Road Show, the place for what's hot and happening. You're having fun, eating well, and living life on The Road Show. This morning on The Road Show, we have all been tempted to sign up for those store credit cards that offer us a discount, but are they really a smart investment? Susan Hogan joins us to talk about the pros and the cons. The band Maine South joins us on set as we gear up for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon, the run just a few days away. This morning, we'll get a preview of Maine South's set. And in the kitchen, we welcome Vineyard East to the show. Today, we are making pork and clams. You can find the recipe online now at foxprovidence.com. And good morning, everyone. We've made it to Wednesday. Welcome to the Roadshow, August 3rd. I'm Danielle North. I'm running in the half marathon. I you changed my mind. I'm not. Patrick Lill. And I'm Michaela Johnson. I am. Really? You've I, done I, no training. No matter. You can't run Why to the mailbox. Not? You get winded thinking about working out. I say go for it. You're really going to do it? You Why know, not? I, took, I was out sick yesterday. We're 30 seconds into the show, and she's already punching me. Did you realize you just hit me? I wasn't punching. It was yeah. more like a buddy. <laughs> come on, buddy old pal. <laughs> No? You're not, you're not going to lace up those sneaks and uh, I just hit the told pavement? You, I think I might run. You should. It's a big deal. What do you think his time will be? 5.30? Uh, he might finish on Tuesday. <laughs> we'll get an update from the finish I'm line kidding. 48 hours later. And there's Patrick. <laughs> Patrick is late for the road show on Monday. Because <laughs> I'll just bring a camera on, on my hat or something and just do the road show Can live Monday you? morning. Yeah, from there the, you go. From mile 11 that I'm on <laughs> on Monday. Can I ask you a question, though? You just did. Um... Did, have you ever run? I mean, you were athletic at one point in your life, weren't you? <laughs> oh, my God. It's good to be back. I should have called out today as well. Uh, where should I begin? Um, let's see. Yes, I played sports in high school. Right. I played mm -hmm. uh, lacrosse, mm -hmm. and I was a, uh, a, a very a competitive ski, skier in college. Uh, so, uh, you know, yeah. not all of us could be on the physics team like you. I wasn't on the physics on the team. On the physics team. And whatever you did. No. Why, why, why are you clowning me today? I don't get it. I, I don't because you clown on yourself all the time about how you can't run. So it's not okay for us to do it too? No. Okay. <laughs> Self-deprecating humor is the best kind. I know. And no, you do it so well. I do. Yeah. That's one thing I'm very good at is making fun of myself. I, you know, what's the big deal? 13 miles? I bet I could beat you. Do you hear what he's saying? Yeah. What's the big deal? Uh, put your money where your mouth is. And, I think we should challenge Patrick to run and see how he does. He probably I agree. would beat me. I mean, I say, you know, I'm all excited to run and everything, but I hear the time Michaela's is doing, <laughs> Stephen Schuler, Nick Anuosu, and they're all going to make the finish line <laughs> an hour before I am, and I'm going to get there, and there'll be nobody waiting for me. So there'll be thousands of people waiting for you. Yeah, because they'll all be done. Event. I'll be the last one to cross the finish line. <laughs> I'll tell so you there what. You go. I'll pick you up in my car. Oh, that's we'll nice go of get you. breakfast yeah. after you start the race. Yeah. We'll just <gasps> dump some water in our heads, make it look like we ran it, and then like at mile 11. I love that idea. Uh, we'll just find there you it. There you go. Yeah, we got to make it look legit, though. It's got to be legit. Like, we can't finish too fast. So, a nice, long, leisurely breakfast. A couple ace bandages, band aids. Yeah, there you, there you go. go. <laughs> We're good. But uh, all kidding aside, I'm not running. I have to, uh, unfortunately, I have to go to the beach on Sunday. Yeah, you oh, have to go unfortunately. <laughs> All but right. uh, I just want to say a quick thanks to the folks at Cornerstone. I played in their golf event at yeah. uh, Foster Country Club on Monday morning. They raised a lot of money for Cornerstone Adult Care Services. Good. It was a great time. Another success. It was our 14th year. And uh, hope to be back again next year. It's August 6th next year at Foster. Great. So thanks again for inviting me. Good. And uh, to the folks at Foster, I'm so sorry for all those massive divots I took throughout <laughs> the course. But we had a good time. I'm sure they forgive you. All right, we're going to get to some of the headlines of the morning. Finally, we have learned that the Providence Teachers Union has reached a tentative deal with yes. the city mm -hmm. on a three-year labor contract that the good news is avoids teacher layoffs. Very good news. Right. So, yeah. So, the new deal includes a two-year pay freeze, higher health care co-pays, fewer sick days, and also reduction in staff because of 80 retirements. It also calls for a longer school day, which is interesting. They're going to kind of tier that over the next couple of years. Don't I guess get it's it. In 15-minute increments over the next couple of years. It's all to save the city. And estimated $53 million. Union members will be voting on the agreement in the coming weeks. If it's approved, it then goes to the Providence City Council for full ratification, which I would imagine it will go through. I can't imagine that there'd be a block on this. So. I don't understand the longer school there are, part. I don't that? either. I was just going to say the same thing. What is that? What is it? I am all for it. I don't what? think our kids... Oh, I, I am so against Why? it. Why? I am Kayla? so against it. They've already extended it. So even just this year alone or, or the the past year i right. can't really remember but i don't know why they keep pushing it later and later and later and the thing i can think of I is i'll tell you why. extracurriculars 
because now all those are pushed back even right. further. So now your child is is home later. Right. Then they're doing their homework even later. For then they're eating dinner later. Those must have played sports like, in high school. You I know? played sports. I, I said extracurricular. It's not thing. just. No, it's I not know. just I'm sports. Just you know, that but Danielle it, wouldn't understand that we, uh, you know, you have to stay after. But that makes practice. for that no, makes I was for busy a very doing the physics, physics club. The physics B and uh, I yeah. Just, I just feel like you know, kids are waking up early enough. They're going to school for six hours and they have their extracurricular. Then they're going home and having dinner. I agree with the fifteen minutes extra because you know what we lose so many days because people are fearful because of snowstorms and when they make them up at the end of the year these kids aren't learning anything the last week of school yep. so those 15 minutes will make a difference you know what those kids that's for a buzz for another you day you know what those kids do in the last 15 minutes what no, that's not You'll true. lose them. Gone. Attention span exactly. really short. There's a Moving on. Lifeguards it. from the East Coast are showing off their skills in Newport this week. So nice to have the band all back together, isn't it? <laughs> it's all part of the 35th Newport Invitational Lifeguard Tournament. I'm sure Michaela does this in her free time no, as well. The no. annual competition pits teams from some of the Northeast's most popular beaches against each other in 20 different events, including swimming, rowing, paddling, and running. Representing the Ocean State, Narragansett Beach, Easton's Beach as of yesterday. Narragansett's in the lead. The competition started again this morning, just a few minutes ago at 9 a.m. No, 9 a.m. is an hour from now, so it will be starting <laughs> 60 minutes from now. At 8 a.m. it's Patrick started. is fast forwarding to 9 a.m. No, it started at 8, a few minutes ago at 8 a.m. No, it starts at 9. Oh my God, <laughs> we are so getting divorced. We are so... What happened these last 24 we're filing, hours? We're filing our we papers like, as we, we speak. We were like TV lovers on Monday, and <laughs> I, I'm not here yesterday, and then... It's just I crumbling. moved on. Are you cheating on I me? I moved on. Was Tony in again yesterday? Yeah, so well, you what know, happened? one day with Tony, look what happens. <laughs> anyway, uh, coffee lovers, getting your Dunkin' fix just got even easier. We've been waiting for this announcement. Maybe if we drink a little more of this, we'll get back on a good footing, Patrick. So today, the coffee chain starts selling its brew in those Keurig cups, the cake cups, can be used in those brewing systems. They'll be selling for 12 bucks for a pack of 14. Now here's the catch: they will not be available at grocery stores, only at your neighborhood Dunkin' Donuts shop. So right. when you go in for your iced coffee, get the cake cups, bring them home. Make your own. You can have home. it morning, noon, night. When you get up in the middle of the night, anytime you want it, you can have it. That's great. I think it's. I fun. know. I know so many people with Keurigs, and I think it's, it's about time that Dunkin' hopped on board. It'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see how it impacts their sales, though, at the drive-thru. You know what I mean? I do. Mm. Do you think <laughs> Patrick and I have things to discuss you know. outside of the studio, apparently? We need a timeout. <laughs> we need a commercial break to sort Courtney, things out. Courtney, please, please, please help us calm everything down. I can. I can shift gears a lot because we have lots of <laughs> oh, exciting stuff going on here. <laughs> Let's see. I, I hope I can. I hope I can. I'm in the New England Tech Center. We're live blogging on foxprovidence.com. And before I start telling you guys about uh, awesome new sites out there, I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Megan Scorpio, who turns 12 years old today. She actually watches the road show every morning. So all of us here hope you have a great day today. And it also could be a great day for someone else out there. If you ever wanted to go to space, now you can. Seattle Space Needle will celebrate its 50th anniversary next April. And to celebrate the Space Needle, will send an astronaut wannabe on a suborbital flight soaring 62 miles above the Earth. The contest was launched Monday with the help of Apollo astronaut Buzz Aldrin, and the contest is being called the Space Race 2012. People can sign up at the Space Needle's website through the end of December. A thousand people will be chosen at random to submit a one-minute video, and the public will actually then vote for the best. Company officials say this space trip grand prize is worth about $110,000. Pretty cool. I'm afraid of heights, so I will not be submitting anything in this contest, but visit the live blog for the link. I'm going to head to the kitchen now with Patrick. Uh, what's cooking today? This is Ben Mayhew from Vineyard, and uh, you are located in East Providence, correct? Yes. And you have this morning uh, pork and clams. Yes. So it's kind of like surf and turf. Yeah, you can say that. All right. So what would you say goes into this? Well, you would know. It's your thing. So tell me what goes into this. Uh, all right. Well, dish. we uh, are pork and clams dish. Uh, we use a uh, pork shank. Okay. This is a cooked finished one. But uh, to start the dish, um, I do a mirepoix of onion, celery, carrots, <coughs> garlic, and a leek. A what? A mirepoix? A mirepoix. It's French. French for? For the basis of uh, stock soup sauces. Oh, okay. So I get my mirepoix. I have some tomato paste right here. And some veal stock or okay. veal demi glace, and it's okay. like jello. It's really good stuff, right? Wow, there. look at that. That does look good. And so what I do is I uh, sweat my vegetables, add my tomato paste, uh, usually a little bit of beer, but I have some water today, and my veal stock, and I add my pork shank in there, 
Just for, then, just for future references, it's okay if you bring in beer at 8 in the morning. <laughs> we don't care. We've beer, wine, hard liquor. We do it all here on the road all show. Right. So, well, all right, uh, we're going we're gonna to start the Mirepoix. Sure, let me light this up for you. Did I say that right? You got it. All right, that's coming up in our next segment. You can find the recipe and ingredients online, as always, at foxprovidence.com. Certainly, we all want to save money these days, but signing up for one of those store credit cards may not be the answer. Oftentimes, these cards can come with some pretty huge drawbacks. And to help us make some smart choices at the checkout, problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with more. Always good advice that you bring us, Susan. And, you know, I have to tell you, when you're sitting at the counter and you're getting that offer, it is so tempting to want to save that, you know, 10 or 15 percent that they offer you right then and there. It is. I mean, I've fallen for it. I think we all have at yeah. some point, but. In many cases, too, if you accept it and you're not reading the fine print, it can definitely come back to bite you later on. Now, so when you're standing there, though, and they offer you this card, I mean, is it mm -hmm. one of those deals that you really do have to sign on the dotted line right then and there? You don't really have time to think about these offers, do you? Well, good, good question. In fact, we wanted to know the answer to that, so we asked several of the major retailers, mm -hmm. Kohl's, TJ Maxx, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, and here's the deal. It's take it or leave it at the checkout. You don't have time to read the fine print. And that's kind of like a gotcha thing. I, I'm not really comfortable with that, to be honest yeah. with you. But yes, when you are asked that, when you're up there with that purchase of 150 or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. if you want to get that 10%, they're not going to say, oh, here's the pamphlet. Yeah. And you can sit and read it, and you got a line of 15 people behind you. But that does sound a little bit suspect yeah. to some people. It kind of alarm goes off a little bit. I mean, what are we getting ourselves into when we just sign on the dotted line right there? Well, what you're going to get yourself into are extremely high annual percentage rates. Mm -hmm. And what we also did was to look around at those particular Best Buy and the Target as well to mm -hmm. see what those rates were. We took the time to read the fine print. And for example, on average, the APR for all of those was about 25%. Now, the fees as well. Mm. That's something that you need to look out for too. When we're talking about fees, we're talking about the penalty fees. Okay. For example, if you're late, those late payments can really whack you. Mm. In some cases, some of them will charge you $35 if you're late on a fee. Other credit, other in-store credit cards, if you're late, not only will you be charged a fee, your APR will suddenly jump. And it could jump in upwards of 5 to 10%, which is crazy. That is high, yeah. And also, look out for this APR. If they're telling you that it's a 10% savings and that the APR is, say, 19%, is that an introductory APR? Right. Will that expire in six months to a year and then suddenly jump to 29%? Mm -hmm. You got to really, really watch out for that. I mean, certainly a lot of these cards come with some benefits where you might get yeah. frequent, you know, shopper points or discounts, but you really got to be careful with these, right? You do. And here's another thing, too. If you're one of those people who wants to take the time to read the fine print, and you should, sometimes those insert credit cards can help you out mm -hmm. and be good rewards, have good rewards as well. So if you know you're going to be making a huge purchase, say, and buying a T TV or whatever, mm -hmm. go to the store earlier, go on their website, look for the terms and agreements, the conditions, the policies, read the pamphlet. Yeah. So when you go to the checkout and they ask you, would you like that 10%, say yes, because you're ready, you've already read it, and you're, you're good to and go. You've done your homework. Yeah. All right, Susan, thanks so much for the advice. And sure. for more information on the ins and outs of these in-store credit cards, you can head to our website, foxprovidence.com. Well, we have a good looking morning underway. Sunshine and cooler temperatures for this afternoon. Nice to see us back under quiet weather after a few strong thunderstorms rolled through parts of our area yesterday. Today, I expect live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar to be able to take a breather, at least during the daytime hours. We will have the threat of a few showers by tonight, though. No sign of that from this morning. What a gorgeous start to the day from our city cam. Blue skies. And uh, we have a little temporary break in the action here. The storm from yesterday evening moving out, but you can see clouds and showers off to our west. Now, most of them will miss us. They'll stay south and west of us, but we'll get a few clouds in here. And again, by tonight, the threat of a few showers. So notice on our future cast, I have the sunshine from uh, the morning hours giving way to increasing high clouds with a temperature around 80 at 1 o'clock, 81 at 3 in the afternoon, and at 5 in the evening, still dry at 77 degrees. Well, I'll have the weekend future cast for you coming up just a little later in the show. This weekend, the annual Newport Jazz Festival is taking over Fort Adams down in Newport. And joining us to tell us who to watch is Providence Journal music writer Rick Massimo. Good morning to you, Rick. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for coming back again. Tell us uh, what's new this year for the uh, Jazz Festival. Well, the Jazz Festival has been start. The Jazz Festival started in 1954, and the very first one they said we're presenting the full spectrum of jazz from J to Z. And I'd say that that that's pretty much what they're doing 
what they're doing this year and every year is it's 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 the old masters, it's the young it's the young groups, the young players who become old masters by the a, after they've been there right. for a few decades. So a little bit of everything. Uh, some talented women to watch this year, like Esperanza Spalding, who just this year won a Best New Artist Grammy, which is exciting. Pianist Hiromi and saxophonist Grace Kelly. Tell us about those folks. Well, Esperanza Spalding has just blown up in the past few years. Uh, she's been at the festival several times, and each time she's at a at a bigger stage with more people coming to see her, and it's it's been great to watch because, uh, you know, it's just been great to see her sort of building up more of a following each time and being a bigger deal each time. And uh, Hiromi? Hiromi is a Japanese jazz pianist. I believe this is her third time at the festival, and she's just tremendous. She's She works in a whole different a whole different realm with a whole different uh, set of influences. It's very original sounding. It has the it has the technique of jazz and the feel of jazz, but it, it calls in lots of different influences. And she's playing in a trio with Anthony Jackson and Simon Phillips. Looks pretty intense, like she works up a sweat while she's playing that piano. No question. <laughs> she's high octane piano player. And how about Grace Kelly? Grace Kelly is a, grizz is a grizzled old veteran of 19. Yes. Uh, she, opened, she opened the entire jazz festival uh, last year, Friday night, in, uh, in, at the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And she did a tremendous job, and so many people around me were just, who is this person? Right. How, wh wh this is crazy. And now she's coming back, and she's playing with Phil Woods, uh, a legendary saxophone player, one of her mentors. And this comes on the, on the heels of doing a record with, uh, with Lee Konitz. So that sort of tells you what, you know, what, what esteem she's held in by the, by the masters. Still a teenager, and uh, what else should we look for as we get ready for the event? Well, there's, there's Wynton Marsalis on Friday night and on Saturday. Uh, Esperanza Spalding is, is both days. And the thing about the Newport Festival is there's always somebody there who you don't know anything about, and you turn a corner, and there they are on some stage, and you're blown away instantly. Yeah. It is great. Rick, thanks so much for coming in this morning and providing some insight about this great event. For the full lineup and more details on the Jazz Festival, just check out Thursday's Providence Journal. Today in the Road Home, we're talking about some great upcoming events at Cardi's Furniture. And joining me this morning is Nairobi, Nick Ron, and Pete Cardi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, it's, it's officially August, all right? And that means Christmas in July is over. But, Nick, how did you guys do it? And what's next for Cardi's? Well, July, Christmas in July was great. And we waited another 144 days until Christmas to see if it actually snows that <laughs> five inches. And if it Here's does, hoping. remember, everything you bought in July would be free. But now uh, it's August, and they have the sales tax holiday coming up. And the, right. sales tax, the sales tax holiday is really Massachusetts, although we are offering it in Rhode Island also. So whether you buy it in Rhode Island or you buy it in Massachusetts, yes. we're going to give you that 7% off, and that starts right away. Mm -hmm. And plus we have extended financing, so it's, it's a great time. You can come in and buy new mattresses for kids going back to school, and they need a new bedroom set, they need a new mattress so they can really get up, study, start a new, yeah. that new mattress is great. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Now, Ron, last year, Cardi's was kind of in the spotlight when the, the governor passed this bill into law, and it's so exciting. You're actually waiting to see if it's going to happen again. Is that right? Well, actually, it is going to happen again. They did sign it the other day, mm -hmm. so we know it's official. Uh, last year, we were able to sit with Governor Deval Patrick up in our Grain Tree store, and it was a great event. We met a lot of nice people, and everyone loves it because it definitely gives a kick to the economy in terms of the stores, the retailers love it. It's been about six years running. So it's, it's a wonderful event. As Nick just said, we've, we've tried to take a preemptive strike in Rhode Island because Rhode Island is not having it. Right. So we're going to dovetail with Mass. Mass, the tax rate is actually six and a quarter. So we've taken, we've given people an advantage to take seven off now rather than wait for that crazy weekend because it does get crazy in the stores on Saturday and Sunday. It does. And then on Saturday <laughs> and Sunday, we'll revert back to the Mass tax and, at six and a quarter off. So. Uh, you can do it either way, but we look forward to it. It's going to be a great, uh, a great weekend. And, but now there's no need to wait. That's the most important thing. Yeah. You don't have to deal with those lines. All right. Always, always good when you're saving money, yeah. right? You always Especially take advantage. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now, Pete, you guys always have Hello, some, yes. some great uh, community events going yes. on. So what's coming up? Well, we've got, uh, at our locations that we're hosting right now, classic car cruises, car seat safety. It seems that everyone around here has young children now, yeah. which, is, which, is, which is a wonderful thing. And, but the big thing is, are the car seats safe? 
So we have this wonderful events that we host at the stores, and they have people there from the state police, uh, the local safety companies, and they will for free inspect the car seats. And most car seats, when they come in, aren't installed properly, so it's an important thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, besides the car seat safety days, we also have the uh, blood drives. So it's an opportunity to help the blood bank, uh, the Ryan Blood Center, uh, restock their shelves. Uh, down in Providence, we work with the, um, the skating rink, although the skating rink isn't set up as far <laughs> as for winter. They're in the summer mode, and Festival Fet's coming up. It's mm -hmm. a wonderful uh, outdoor event. They've got music for kids, for adults, all kinds of uh, performance artists, musicians, whatever that word is <laughs> that they do, where they kind of run around and, and do music at the same time, mm -hmm. so it's kind of fun. Down south, we're in Newport with uh, Joe Rocco and, and the whole group down there with comedy series. And all of these events really help charities. So not only is there an advantage to go there and participate with the event for the person that's coming, whether it's the car crews or the mm -hmm. car seat safety or at the, uh, down in Newport or even yeah. up in with our friends at the Stadium Theater in Woonsocket. They're they're all all tie, they all tie into yeah. charities. So for it's a great one, cause. They're all for great causes. So we hope everyone comes out. As Nick mentioned, it's back to school time. It's coming up quick. It is. So you've got a couple of weeks. Let's come out and have some fun. All right. Well, thank you all so much for thank all you. those details. And for more on all the events coming up, head to foxprovidence.com. Michaela, thanks. And still to come this morning on the road to we're back in the kitchen with Vine Yard East making pork and clams. We'll also learn about their wine club. Very interesting. You can find the recipe right now at foxprovidence.com. Plus, tracking teen drivers. One car company is testing a system to do just that. But is it a good idea? We're going to talk about it next in The Buzz. You're watching The Road Show here on Fox Providence, we're back in just 90 seconds. Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning in the buzz. It could be a parent's dream, but it could be your teenager's nightmare. Having mom or dad be able to tell exactly where you are when you're driving around town. This is genius. It's a new system <laughs> being tested by General Motors OnStar that would let parents track their teen drivers every move. The system is called Family Link, and it would allow OnStar users to log onto a website at any time, any time, to see where the car is located. You can also get email or text alerts as well. OnStar officials say it is a way for parents to make sure they're connected to family members when they're on the road. All right. I kind well, of gave away how, how I feel. feel. Yeah. What do you guys think? Good idea, bad idea? Patrick? Uh, let's see. I, I think now that I'm a parent, I think it's... A fairly it's genius. brilliant idea. Yeah. But as a teenager, I would have thought it as being an invasion of privacy. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but now that I'm no longer a teenager, Sorry. I would have to say, <laughs> I just think you know, for safety's sake, yeah. But you know, c c you know, it's all, husbands and wives can use it out in this on each other mm -hmm. as well. It's not just it's not just for kids. Oh, yeah. you know, genius. It's in that genius. Car. Keep an eye on your uh, uh, yeah. Right. Sure. You were. At you the know, golf it could backfire. I like I could be like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go and. Uh, spend some time with charity and I'm really at the mall spending That's you know, a couple hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, it could backfire. Like I think it's great, but there are some circumstances where I wouldn't want to get burned. <laughs> what That's are you true. hiding, girlfriend? That's true. I, but I feel like it's a trust thing, too. Like, once you get it, I feel like the trust goes completely out the window. Yeah. You know, if, if you're a parent watching a child or, or a spouse watching the other, once you get that in the car, it, I feel like all your trust is gone. You know, okay, so now you have to watch my every move, even when I'm I running errands that, during the day. I would not be a yes, hawk about it. You no, I would, would. not. I but would, the, fact the mere that it's threat there. of it, the mere threat of it, I think, would be enough to maybe get them to rethink whether they're going to sneak off to that party in the woods or Well, whatever. then you know what? You hop in another friend's car. Yeah, you're right. They would find a way to sneak oh, your system. Oh, there's you know? around I know. everything. I know, there is. Yeah. I it, think it's it a nice tool, though. Or for elderly relatives, for example. We've heard so many stories of elderly mm -hmm. people when they, you know, they get in, in the their car, car and they so go somewhere and we lost. haven't been yeah. seen them, you know, they haven't been seen in three days. It would be great to be able to use that for safety reasons to be like, right. all right, Grandma Josephine is in Central Falls or mm -hmm. whatever and we found her, you know? Yeah. But I feel like Big Brother watches you so much that I don't want to give them another way to do that. Yeah, but it's not Big Brother, it's you, you know, they, they track brother. you. But I'm just saying in terms of all the mean. tracking yeah. devices yeah. And, th and things like that, you know, you're constantly being watched and there's something about just like maybe even just going for a drive sometime to yeah. get away yeah. or, or to escape and, and I feel like that's going to be totally lost. But you know, we all have sort of begun to feed into this. I, I don't do it, but I see some of my friends do on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm at the mall. I'm at TF Green Airport. Right, right. I'm at, you know. So, yo, you check in. You, yeah. you check, you check in. Like, places, where are you? Yes. Uh, where you are? In fact, we have a friend, a mutual friend, I won't mention who it is, that, I mean, everywhere this person goes is on Facebook. And it's, it's me. No, I'm no, just it's, kidding. <laughs> but it's, it, so, my point is, is that we are volunteering our, mm -hmm. our locations 
via non-GPS yeah. right, methods. Right. So this is just another way of, of kind of you know going along with the trend here, where mm -hmm. we're just totally now exposing all. We're giving up our privacy voluntarily. I know yeah. we really are. Right. I, I honestly, I, I would get I this, so. this interlink, whatever you, interlink is not the thing in Warwick. That's the train from the road to the airport. Family yeah. link, I believe is the She's name She's going to get one of those too. Yeah. I'm getting my own interlink in my backyard. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't know. It's interesting to see though. I think you, re you can see both sides to this sure. one. Yeah. You know, I think people online would agree. What do you think, Courtney? My kids have no chance at a social life. <laughs> I know, when, when they drive, what else is going to come up? A lot of know. people um, actually like this. I did find a few who don't feel it's an invasion of privacy, but uh, let's hear what some of the bloggers slash parents have to say this morning. And this one's actually from a teen driver, Little Creed. She says, as a teen driver, I always tell my mom where I'm going. My word is good enough for her. And Lisa said, I think it's a good idea to track your teen just in case you never know. Here's the poll right underneath the live blog. Do you like the idea of being able to track your teen while they're driving? A, yes, it's a great way to stay connected. B, no, it's an invasion of their privacy. This buzz has generated about more than 10 comments so far this morning. And Stevan Joy said, I don't have a teenager, but I don't agree with this. If you can't trust your children to be where they say they will be, why let them have a car? Marianne Ferguson said it's a great idea. I think even if you do trust your teen, it gives parents peace of mind knowing they can check to see where their child is at any time. And Donna Mitchell says this is a great idea. Kids will be kids. And even if they say we're going to the library, oftentimes there are many stops along the way home. And then Daniel Sullivan says, horrible, horrible idea, huge invasion of privacy. So I would say as of now, I haven't looked at the poll. It seems like more of you are in favor than not, but we'll see what the official results are at the end of the show. We're going back in the kitchen now with Danielle. What's happening? All right, so Courtney, I've never even eaten at the Vineyard, but I love it already because we're talking about their wine club, which is awesome. You guys are located in East Providence, right, Donna Lee? You That's just opened correct. two months ago. For those who don't know, at the former Cattails, right? Cattails. East Providence. And actually, before that, it was Joseph. All right, so we all know the history as a landmark, so we can figure that out. And let me quickly check in with you, Chef. What did you sure. do real quickly when we were in break here? Uh, I had my mirepoix, okay. uh, my beer, my tomato paste, <laughs> my veal stock, and I'm simmering it away. Okay. And I've added my pork shank right into All right, it. so we're going to finish that up in our next segment. But let's talk a little bit about this wine club. Tell me about it, Donnelly. Um, we offer a wine club. Mm -hmm. It's a one-time membership fee for the year. Okay. And what it is is you get discounted wines by the glass or bottle. Oh. Um, you get a T-shirt, and these are actually <laughs> our new T-shirts. <laughs> nice. I brought that for you. Okay, it just says Vino. We like yes. that. That sums it up. Okay. Um. You get a free meal on your birthday. Great. You get a VIP card. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing, uh -huh. you get your own glass with your name or initials etched on the glass. Fabulous. And would you leave that at the restaurant to you be used again and again when you come? Yes, you do. And you have your repeated glasses of wine. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your wine selection. What are you proud of about it? Um... We have a wide variety of yeah. wines, actually, from everywhere, from all around the world. Okay. But I gotta say, our the best thing uh -huh. was is our house wine. Oh, what is it? It's flip flop, okay. and every bottle mm -hmm. that we buy, a pair of shoes gets donated to a third world country. That is great. So, is this flip flop we have right here? Yes. All right, let's take a cheers and a toast, and we'll try that. <laughs> what kind of wine is this? This is the uh, Cabernet, the flip flop. Mmm, flip flop Cabernet. And again, all for a good cause as well. For our own personal good cause. Yeah, 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks so much. And we're going to get things cooking in the kitchen in just a minute. Now back to you. All right, coming up next. A performance from the band Maine South, who will be performing this weekend during the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. But before we go to break, head to foxprovidence.com now and click on the Save Now Providence link for the Roadshow Deal of Day. Every morning we'll offer you an incredible bargain on things you'll love, and today's deal is from Vineyard East, who we're cooking with today. You can get a $20 food voucher for half price. Check it out and sign up for more deals right now on foxprovidence.com. This week in the local scene, we're introducing you to some of the bands that will be performing in this weekend's Rock and Roll Half Marathon. As you know, the run features bands every mile, and today in studio, we have a band called Maine South that will be performing appropriately on South Maine in Providence during the race, and they are joining us on the Rose Show stage this morning. We want to welcome 
Mr. Brazel, John. how's it going? Be John, good. so this, I heard you guys warming up. You guys have a great sound. How would you define your sound? That's a little bit of Southern rock, um, mm -hmm. kind of influenced by 90s alternative a little bit. Okay. And you guys are going to be sort of earlier on in the race, right? Yes. So people aren't going to be, you know, lagging behind just yet. But what is your plan to motivate everybody on we'll the We'll just kind of play up tempo and hope that that motivates the runners along. Mm -hmm. And the song you're playing for us today is called? It's called Near Me. What's it about? Uh, it's just about being glad you're near somebody. And mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm so. going to step out of the way, and we'll let you guys go to it. All right. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Feeling so much different now Ever since you came around The best of me is coming out You make me feel so calm Like I'm right where I belong Even when everything's going wrong It's hard to believe The difference in me when you're near me, when you're near me, oh, it's hard to be strong till you come alone, till you're near me, till you're near me, oh. So tell me what's your secret. guys at home want to get near Main South, you can do so. The inaugural Rock and Roll Providence Half Marathon is this Sunday, and you can find more information about the run and about Main South on our website, foxprovidence.com. And coming up next on the Roadshow, out dancing the competition, the performers of So You Think You Can Dance let us in on their strategies to win the show. And later we're back in the kitchen with Vineyard East making pork and plants. It smells so good right now. Mm. You can find today's recipe online right now at foxprovidence.com. And you are watching The Roadshow on Fox Providence. We'll be back in just a minute. Stick around. The Season 8 So You Think You Can Dance finalists are sharing their secrets on how they're trying to win the contest and beat out their competitors. Courtney Friel catches up with them backstage. You can talk about cha-cha. The finalists on So You Think You Can Dance are ready to get back into the rehearsal room to go another round. Oh. 
And as they warm up their dancing shoes, they hope practice will make perfect. You try to mess up as least as possible, but, you know, mistakes happen and you just kind of got to work through everything. It's not good to peek at re in, in rehearsal because you can't, like, you don't have anywhere to go from then on. So it's really great to, like, see all these mess ups in rehearsal and then just see everything come together on stage. <laughs> If there's one thing they've learned on season eight, there's a certain choreographer they need to look out for. Sonia is the only one that everyone's like, shoot, I'm gonna die, she's gonna kill me, but it always turns out so amazing. She really works she down to the detail. But you sweat in your sleep. Yeah, I sweat when I'm sleeping, sweat just sleep. thinking about the dance. But it's all worth it if they can show someone out there that hard work can pay off. It's so inspiring that um, that we can inspire someone else. Like, um, I don't know. I it's kind of I'm lost for words because I used to be I used to have someone to look up to, and really, it, there's no words. I'm sure he will have enjoyed that performance this week. And one piece of advice for those hopefuls: uh, make sure you love hitting that stage. It's the toughest gig in the world because you're underappreciated, underpaid, overworked. I mean. You have to love it to be able to go along, put yourself on the line as for an audition, and then be turned down. And accept that, and pick yourself back up and do it again the following week. And the dancers are back tonight for two all-new hours of So You Think You Can Dance. You can see it at 8, right here on Fox Providence. And now it's time to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. But before we get to the details, we have to say happy birthday to Dax Holt. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you going out pottying later? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm too old for that now. Come on. No, you're not. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy your day. Now, let's start, <laughs> let's start with some serious news, though. So we understand you guys have found where Casey Anthony is. You guys say she's in Ohio, and you have the pictures to prove it. So what is she doing there? Yes, she has surfaced in Ohio, and uh, some paparazzi snagged her out there, basically walking around the city. She look, she's kind of trying to go incognito, though. She's got her hat on. she got the glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I think the only thing she's missing right now is a fake mustache, honestly. But she's walking <laughs> around. She's uh, going to Gap and uh, just trying to be normal out there. She's wearing an Ohio State uh, hat as well. But, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking... Uh, I just, I'm a little nervous for her. Yeah. I don't think it'll go well on the outside world. I think there's a lot of people kind of out to get her at this point, uh, and they're not willing to put the past behind them. But uh, anyway, she's trying to move along. I know that she is trying to get some treatment right now mm -hmm. uh, because there's a couple issues that she really wants to deal with, obviously with losing the child, um, with uh, being locked up in solitary confinement for a couple years. Yeah. So uh, there's been a lot of things that's messed with her head. She may have to go back to Florida, though, based on what the judge is saying with a past conviction. So we'll see if she ends up going back to her home state. But moving on to some other headlines now, I guess you guys found out that Lindsay Lohan's ex, Samantha Ronson, was arrested for a DUI, and she has quite the mugshot, right? She has a, <laughs> this is a <laughs> terrible mugshot. But oh, she was coming home God. from uh, Las Gosh. Vegas. She had a gig. <laughs> <laughs> I love everyone's reaction to it. It's priceless. Uh, but she was coming home from Vegas, and uh, it was 10.30 in the morning, you guys. Yeah. And uh, she got caught in Baker, California, which is halfway between Las Vegas and L.A., and she got out of the car. Mm -hmm. They did the field test. Um, I guess she didn't do so well, so they wanted to do a breathalyzer on her. She said no, so they, they cuffed her, took her into the station, did a proper one there. She failed it, and then we got this beautiful mugshot of the whole thing. Well, yeah, that is a priceless photo. And before we let you go, I know you're married, but Michaela Johnson loves you, and she also wishes you happy birthday. So there you go. <laughs> Aw, thank you. All right, well, take care, Dax. We'll see you tomorrow. And you can catch TMZ right here on Fox Providence at 7 p.m. Or, don't hate me, Michaela, you can check out the stories on our website, foxprovidence.com. Well, beginning of the show, Danielle's picking on me. Now she's picking on Michaela. I found some friends here in the kitchen. Vineyard East is here. We're going to cook up their awesome dish with uh, the pork and the clams that's coming up. Stay with us. And hey, welcome back in the Rocho Kitchen. It's always exciting when we have kind of a new, unique sort of recipe, and we're welcoming Vineyard East into the kitchen today with Chef Ben Mayhew. And again, we are making... Pork and clams. Pork and clams. All right. Know, you know, you think about those two together, and yeah. we were talking this morning when we got the, you know, we go through the rundown before the show starts. Pork and clams, wow. You know, it just, I don't know. It just seemed like it was a, a, a combination we never heard of, but... Boy, we're glad we heard of it. Yeah, we heard yeah of it, it smells it looks, awesome. Looks good, smells it's, uh, good. It's a big Portuguese influence, so it's right. yeah. very common in that. 
Tell us again what, what you've got going on in the pot to recap for people. All here. right, so right here we have our uh, mirepoix. Mirepoix. That's right. Mirepoix. Yeah. Which and means a melody of things of put together <laughs> to make a gravy. Sure. <laughs> Uh, it's our vegetable base, and then we're going to add the tomato paste, the beer, mm -hmm. and our veal demi glace. Let it come up to a boil, and I put my shank in there that I've already pre seared. Okay. And then we let that stew for, usually we let it braise for six to eight hours. Six to eight. So this is one of so those recipes that you get to cook kind of all day, but not oh yeah. monitor all day long. You can just kind of let it do its Oh, yeah, let okay. it low and slow. So this is the second part, which involves our clams. We got some shallots, garlic, little necks. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to deglaze a little bit of wine. Okay, what kind of wine are you using there? Uh, it's just a, like a house wine. I could use a uh, Pinot Grigio or a Sauvignon Blanc. Don't be taking it away from the wine club, okay. though, okay? Sure. All right. <laughs> She's very possessive of the wine club. And I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and add some Kalamata olives. Okay. A potato. You want to hand me those potatoes? Right Absolutely. Now? So these are just a couple go of ahead, roasted add potatoes. Them right in there. Yeah. Okay. Those are Red Bliss potatoes yeah. that have been pre-roasted. All right, so they're already cooked. The only thing that um, hadn't been cooked yet were, were the, uh, the, the little necks. necks. Yeah. And then I'm going to add a uh, spicy tomato brodo. What's that? A brodo is, it's pretty much like a, like a tomato broth. And okay. it's whole peeled tomatoes, mm -hmm. clam juice, wine, garlic, uh, and some uh, red pepper flakes. So Thank I can't you. just buy a bottle of your brodo, right? You have to make that uh, yourself? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I, I, might, I might be able to market it. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to cover that and let that steam and let the little necks open. Wow, okay. that's a lot of uh, flavor. In it this is. Oh, yeah. There's a, a lot going on here. Oh, Do you yeah. serve this at the restaurant? Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, this is our signature dish. It is. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you come up with this yourself? Uh, me and Chef Chris Nardoza came mm -hmm. up with this one. and. Uh, like I said, it's a uh, Portuguese influence right. and being in East, East Providence, a lot of Portuguese people. So yeah. we decided to do our own take on it and use the pork shank. Yeah. And so what do you describe? Is this kind of like a stew, sort of? Or what is it like yes. when we finish it off? I, I mean, mean, it's considered like a braised. Yeah, it could be yeah. like a stew. It's like a braised dish. Okay. So, you know, it's uh, a lot of meat and a lot of a lot of sauce. Mm. So we, we serve with a lot of bread and all yeah. that. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. All right. Are they opening How up? Yeah. Oh, oh, say yeah. hello. <laughs> Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Now, Chef, I don't know if you're a real wine connoisseur, but what would you serve if people were, you know, a member of the wine club? Yes. What do you think, a red with this, sir? Uh, absolutely, a red. Yeah. I'm a beer drinker. I would love a nice, dark brown ale with this. But I would, too. If you were a wine drinker, uh -huh. definitely go for, like, a Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon yeah. or okay. a Pinot Noir. They're starting to open. I can see them. Yeah, I can Now, when you tip them upside down or, or on their, what, what is that? The hinge. Is that rear end? I mean, what is that? That's the hinge. That's the hinge. When yeah. you tip the clam on its hinge. <laughs> I don't know if the clam has a rear yeah, Does that help them open up? <laughs> yeah, they, they don't really like it too much. So it'll, They it'll don't like that too much. No, I can imagine point. being on a 350 degree flame right now wouldn't yeah. feel too good. On your hinge? No. Right on my good. hinge, no. In <laughs> fact, that would be very painful. <laughs> so what I can do here is to speed up a little bit. I can speed get in, up. I can get in there. Come on, clam. Yeah, let's go. Open, we need to make the recipe up. here. All right. There all you right. go. That's good so enough. I'm going to open them up like this. And It happens all the time. Now he's really not happy. Yeah, he's unhinged. He's unhinged. It happens all the time. The shells break, so that's not a big Hinge deal. Hinge is on fire. On fire. There you go. You got there it. You go, all right. right. You could eat it like that. I mean, it's cooked. It's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah well, you can eat these on the half shell. You can eat them on the half shell, right. All right. Oh, well, due to the magic open. of television, we have to kind of check out the finished product. that You all have right. uh, one so in the, I will, I will in the pot, right? I will show you right now, yeah. Yeah. I'll put these guys together. So what I'm going to do... Oh my, my gosh, that shank aroma is unbelievable. It really is. <laughs> wow. I'll take my pork shank. Uh -huh. the, the shank is not on its hinge. Not on the hinge. No. It's resting comfortably. I'll oh. take <laughs> it somewhere around. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw my little necks in there. Okay. I'll add the potatoes. I'm I can totally see why this is your right signature. Look at that. All the potatoes right in now, there. Is that the family portion or is that for just one that person? That is with one person. Wow. And then I'm going to take some of this broth here because mm -hmm. this pork shank work, worked way too hard. Can I try the broth, Chef? Of course. All right. All right I'm going to let Danielle try the broth. Here. Yeah. Check out Vineyard East here in East Providence, a new spot opening up, or opened up. Yeah. Right, and uh, you can get the shank. There you go. And the clams on their hinge. <laughs> and you can find the recipe in all seriousness. And join uh, the wine club. And join the wine club. Okay. Foxprovidence.com. Thank you so much. Yes. Really thank good. You. Hi, Train Michelle. Night. Hey, guys. Beautiful day out there to uh, enjoy.
Perhaps a little outdoors time. We have dry skies for this morning and into the afternoon hours. Plenty of sun early on as well. Top weather headline. You can feel the difference in the air as you step outside. It's more seasonable. The heat, the 90 degree temperatures that we had earlier this week have uh, going to be come, are going to be coming down about 10 degrees for the remainder of the work week. So more seasonable highs on the way. We've got a system that we're watching that's going to slide to our southwest today and into tonight, and it's going to probably just brush by us. That's going to bring some extra clouds and maybe a few showers. And as far as the weekend goes, we are still trying to iron out the details in terms of the timing of showers, but it does look like Saturday daytime is going to be dry. City cam from this morning, blue skies out there. A future cast into the afternoon. This is 3:30, showing the extra clouds coming in. And then at 8 o'clock in the evening, starting to see some rain off to our west. Some of those showers may try to come into our area through the late evening and nighttime hours. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, it all lines down. We should get back to partly sunny skies for tomorrow afternoon. And temperatures should be even a little bit cooler tomorrow in many areas than what we have today. So low 80s. That'll be a nice change for us. 81 Central Falls. 82 downtown Rumford at about 81. On the East Bay, Barrington and Riverside in the low 80s. Tea of Green at 81 and Garden City at about 82. Along the coast, mid to upper 70s in Charlestown. Southeasterly winds in the afternoon will keep the temperatures in the 70s in Newport. About 81 in Coventry, while northern suburbs, the high will come in around 80 for Burrowville. Pleasant dry with sun giving way to high clouds. And then the temperatures in Taunton, about 81, 79 in Little Compton. On the bay, visibility is unrestricted. Waves one foot or less. A high tide at 11:16 in the morning. Low tide at about 20 to 5. At the beaches, sunshine to start, but then we finish the day with some extra clouds, especially across South County. Air temperature around 76. Water temps in the lower 70s. Seven-day future cast for you. So a few showers tonight and possibly into early tomorrow. Then clouds to some sun in the afternoon on Thursday, about 78. Friday looks great. Sunshine and 80. Saturday day is dry, just increasing clouds, some showers possible Saturday night. And then again, during the day on Sunday, I don't think it'll be a washout Sunday, but it looks a little unsettled at this point with a high in the lower 80s. Back to you. All right, still ahead on the road. So we're going to check back in with your web poll results talking about tracking you in your car. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's time now to check back in with today's web poll results. So during our buzz today, we were talking about how OnStar and General Motors are going to have this tracking system in cars, track yeah. your teens. So we asked, do you like the idea of being able to track your teen while they're driving? 76% of you said yes, it's a great way to stay connected. 23% of you feel it's an invasion of their privacy. I think it's all in how you use it, of course, but just to exactly. have the option is pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see how it works. Back to you. I concur. All right. Thanks so much, ladies. And coming up tomorrow on the Roadshow, from drab to fab, a makeover helps one local woman get glam. I always love these. Wait till you see this amazing transformation. Hey, we're getting ready for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon, a preview performance from an on-course band, Mission Hill. Oh, we're getting closer, guys. Just a couple of days away now. Michaela, getting nervous. Do you have another long run this week? Yeah, All right. tomorrow. All right, let's get Kinda it done. Long. And thanks for joining us on the Roadshow on Fox Providence today. For more information on anything you've seen here on the show, just head to our website, foxprovidence.com. Lace up your sneakers and get ready. We'll see you <laughs> back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day.